This is the Spartan Blades Les George designed Raider Dagger. Made in Taiwan for Spartan Blades. This thing is incredible. Uh, if you know Spartan Blades, they have a very, very high uh, stand, very high standards of quality and such. So uh, take all that into account. This is just an amazingly made blade. Uh, but also, if you know Les George's designs, he is a master of the dagger. Now, he's a master of all knife design and making, but man, he is so into the dagger. He's got an incredible collection of them, and he makes a lot of them, and he designs a lot of them. This is his second dagger for Spartan Blades. His first is the V14, I believe it is. That is a cool one. I would love to have that in my collection, um, but, you know, you can always dream. Uh, so this is the sheath that it comes in. I'll get it out of the way, but I just want to show it off. It is a really great Kydex ish sheath or secure x ish sheath and it's got a great footprint it is a small footprint but it's got tons of lashing options here i put this on aftermarket it comes with a sort of a dangler thing here um but very thin very out of the way even for a pancake uh style sheath and then all of these slots are very very convenient and also make it seem like there's less of it great retention just good enough um all right let's take a look at this this thing is full tang construction so you can see the tang which is jimped and those jimps sit proud of the uh grn handle scales these handle scales are feel different than regular GR and they feel like high impact or something. Uh, but that's the tang there. The tang is in the guard. Uh, so the exact thing you see here exists as a solid piece of metal under the guard and handle. And it's jimped and it's sharp and you can see the tang there. Um, very nice knurling and texturing here, really grips nicely. Um, this jimping here feels great, really good for indexing. You want to uh, kind of know where you are all the time, whether you're going to be using this grip, this flat grip. I call this a shovel grip. I don't know why. I guess it's kind of like a, like you're holding a spade. Or if you have it more in a saber grip like this, you can always tell where you are with all the different texturing uh, at that pinch point. Uh, very, very sharp blade, even on the edges. We look at this and we don't see much belly on those uh, edges, but they are very, very sharp because you can see how much uh, they kind of dug down in that steel. Uh, just in holding it like this, you can feel the balance is right where it should be for a fighting knife, uh, right at that first finger. Man, that is awesome. This knife is, I'm so glad I got this. Uh, it's only $150, which is inexpensive for a Spartan Blades knife. And I guess that's because this is a foreign production. Um, little, little bit of history on the Marine Raider Dagger. Uh, so at the start of World War II, they had these 1918 trench knives with the big heavy uh, um, knuckle duster. I think this is bronze, cast bronze. These did not work out for very long because uh, they were built for mayhem and mayhem only. You know, this is this is great if you've if you've got a melee you need to fight. You got double edged dagger here. You got this big attitude adjuster and then you've got these horrifying knuckles which by the way fit my hand perfectly um, as opposed to more modern knuckles which always feel a little bit large but this feels great in hand uh, but this is not good for prying open crates and other you know doing other kind of general stuff uh, so this kind of went away also it took a lot of strategic materials to make this heavy ass knife so this you know required a lot of metal so 
the Marines, I cannot remember the guy's name. I apologize, but I believe he was a colonel. And I'm not talking about Fairbairn or Sykes, but uh, they came up with a knife design based on the Fairbairn Sykes uh, model uh, that looked a little bit like this. So somewhere between these two, uh, but was very sensitive to the fact that materials were expensive and hard to come by and were needed for ordnance and airplanes and stuff. So they made the handle out of the new Marine knife to replace this one out of like a cast aluminum and then a very thin blade and they were known to break when they fell and um and they were pretty much only good for killing people and uh, also not a very universal knife so eventually they landed with the k-bar um which i think was based off a lot of the hunting knives that people were bringing with them um plus other things but this is all three of these knives that i've shown you are gifts from my brother and uh and this one is was used so was the other so were the other two uh all right so that's what this is this is a modern better version of that original marine uh dagger raider dagger all right let me show it with a couple of others uh, of other modern daggers this is with my other spartan blades dagger wearing a beautiful chattanooga leather uh, sheet but this is the one designed by bill harsey another master designer maker that's his maker's mark it's a it's a giant uh, pine tree so these bevels are hollow ground this one's a little bit smaller in all dimensions uh how, these uh are hollow ground which make it a little better of a slicer Theoretically, I don't know. I haven't sliced with either of these or, or slashed with either of them. Um, so there's that. Two black daggers for dark work. And then here is the combat stiletto, the number 27, 2-7 from Randall Made Knives. A classic, classic combat dagger. You've got uh, nice bellies on these uh, edges, and then you have hollow ground very slightly hollow ground uh, bevels there and it's about the same size as this and then lastly in our little dagger comparison here where is it? here it is the cold steel taipan which is just giant by comparison to all of these it's a this is a big dagger this is a this is a very cool dagger uh, hollow ground here, uh, VG10 core, I believe, and then can't remember what the jacketing steel is, but you can see the separation there. And um, yeah, feels great in the hand. This would be this would be something you might want to run into, run towards danger with in your hand. Well, uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend. I think every household should have at least one dagger. And if you're going to be a one dagger household, this one is a winner, I would say. Definitely go for it. This one is is very cool. And by the way, uh, with the, where did I put the sheath? Um, I hear this. With this sheath, it gives just enough retention that you can shake it up and down all day and it's not going to come out. But if you have it clipped to your sweatpants or your jogging shorts, you can tug on it and it comes out without pulling your pants up and giving you a wedgie. So perfect sheath, perfect knife. I love this thing. So highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.